This question says, show that point A, that's minus 3, 2, B, 3, 1, and C, 5, 2, lie on a straight line. Now, the first thing I want to do is, uh, this is what my straight line looks like. So, we want to show that point A, point B, and point C lie on this straight line or on this plane. Now, one of the things you need to understand is, um, for... Uh, these three points to lie on a straight line, they are gradients. Gradients must be same. So you can either call it gradient or you call it slope. So all we need to do is to calculate the gradient of um, line. We'll calculate the gradient of line AB. Then we'll also calculate the gradient of line BC. Then, we will calculate the gradient of line AC. So, now, let's test whether the gradients are going to be the same. Now, line AB, to calculate the gradient, you need to recall that your formula for gradient is um, that y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, considering point A and B, it's going to be our y2, it's um, 1, that's 1 minus minus 2 all over, this will be 3 minus minus 3. Now, this is going to give us uh, 3 over, that's 1 plus 2, that's 3. 3 plus, this will be 6, and this will give us 1 over 2. Now, let's test for line uh, BC. Now, for line BC, it's going to be, uh, we have... Um, 2 minus 1 over 5 minus 3. Now, this is going to give us 1 over 2. Now, let's test, test for line AC. So, for line AC, it's going to be what? That um, 2 minus minus 2 all over that. 2 minus minus 2 all over. Then, we have 5 minus minus 3. Now, this is um, 5 minus minus 3. So, this is the same thing as 4 over 8 which is the same thing as 1 over 2. Now you can see that line AB, the gradient, gradient of line AB is equal to line BC is equal to line AC. Therefore, they are on, they are on a straight line. And as easy as that, you are going to get all the six marks for this question. So, uh, the next question says we should solve this question, which is two points M and N have position vector 3, minus 1, and minus 2, 5, respectively. If P is a point such that 3, M, N is equal to M, P, find the coordinates of P. Now, this is a vector question. One of the things you need to understand while solving vector question is, first of all, you need to get a reference point. Now, um, this is our vector M, so I'm going to call it um, OM, where O is our reference point. Uh, OM is 3 minus 1, and um, our ON is going to be what? Minus 2 and 5. So, having these two vectors. Now, the question says 3MN is equal to MP. Now, in vector analysis, when you have MN, you're going to have, uh, with the reference point, it's not going to be ON minus OM. Now, when you have MP, it's not going to be, recall that P is a vector on its own. It's not going to be what? Maybe we'll have um, P with the reference point is going to be OP. So this is going to be what? OP minus OM. Now, having established this, we are going to put in the values. So this is going to be 3 multiplied by, what's our ON? It's minus 2 and 5. Then this will be minus, uh, OM it's 3 minus 1. Okay, so this is going to be equal to, now OP is what we are looking for. So we are going to just write it as OP. Subtract, now OM is what? 3 minus 1. Okay, so in order to uh, do this more, this is going to be uh, a 
call this all in brackets so you don't get confused this will be three into uh, this will not be um when you do minus two minus three you are going to get the uh, minus five then here you're going to do five minus minus one that's going to give you what six so this is going to be equal to here's going to be op minus three um and this will be minus one okay so from here we can say three times minus five is going to give us minus 15 and um, three times six is going to give us 18. so i'll put this here is equal to i have my op uh, minus three all into minus one now having this vector looking in this form the next thing you need to do is to collect like terms now in collecting like terms minus 15 18 will come here why you're going to have a um, plus this will now come over that's three minus one which is equal to what op now if you are to evaluate this 3 minus 15 is going to give you what that's minus 12 and uh, recall this is 18 this will be 18 minus 1 is going to give you what that's uh, 17 so op o r f s point and p r vector is going to be minus 12 and um 17 so therefore when you want to represent p P will now be equal to, okay, so I'll put it as minus 12, comma, 17. Or I can decide to, um, okay, whichever way this is our answer. Now, as easy as that, you can solve this vector question. Now, if this is your first time of coming to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can get more videos.